Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. More anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. Good morning, brethren. God Almighty will continue to strengthen you. You will not be weary. You will not be tired in the place of prayer. And as you have come once again into the secret place of the Most High, I pray that God Almighty will keep you under His shadow. He will protect you. He will defend you. He will guide you. And He will supply all your needs in the mighty name of Jesus. This morning we'll go to part 7 of the series, The Glory of God Shall Be Your Reward. To lead into that word for this morning, we'll take a song, Oh Be Lifted Above All Other Gods. Well, let us quickly open to Isaiah 58. Verse 6 to 8 before we take the song. Isaiah 58, verse 6 to 8. Is not this the fast that I have chosen to lose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free? And that ye break every yoke? Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry? And that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house. When thou seest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thy own flesh, then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thy health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee, and the glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. Hallelujah. Let's take that song. Oh, be lifted above all the gods. We lay our crowns and worship you. Oh, be lifted above all the gods. We lay our crowns and worship you one more time. Oh, be lifted. Above all the gods, we lay our crowns and worship you. All glorious God, we praise your name. And worship you. Please go ahead and begin to worship the Lord in your own words, in your own language. Call him by his name. Adore him. He is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Rose of Sharon, the Everlasting Father, the Fountain of Glory the bread of life, the one that was, the one that is, the one that will be forever. Father, we bless your holy name. Accept our worship this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Amen. Once again, good morning. This topic of today's short exhortation is the glory of God shall be your reward, part 7. As I've said in the past, as you get close to God, 
by doing the heavy burdens, God himself will make his glory to shine upon your life. Anyone that wants to be close to God, anyone that wants to develop a strong relationship and to be able to receive revelation and grace that is uncommon, we learn to undo the burdens of other people. We learn to take care of other people so that the light and the glory of God can shine upon their lives. I pray that that shall be your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. So for today, the message from the Lord is that you speak up for the oppressed. That don't glory in the things that you have. Oh, what you have possessed, your degree, the house you live in, the car that you drive, the size of your bank account, how connected you are. No, 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 don't glory in those things. God says he wants you to glory in judgment, in justice, in, in just making sure that you, you speak up for people, that you understand that is the almighty God that takes pleasure in loving people, takes pleasure in making sure that it's justice, that is righteousness, righteousness in the world. Please open with me very quickly before I list for you the things that God laid in my heart this morning as you begin to speak of for the people of God. Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23 and 24. Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23 and 24. Thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glorieth Glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, seeth the Lord. Number one, look beyond yourself. You want to get close to God? <laughs> look beyond yourself. Look for opportunity to take care of the needs of others. Look beyond yourself. Life is not all about you. God says you need to delight in the fact that you understand him. That he is looking for loving kindness in the world. He is looking for justice in the world. He is looking for righteousness in the world. Look out beyond yourself for somebody to speak up for. Examples that take me to point number two. Be a voice for the oppressed. Those that have been oppressed in the world, around you, in your family, in your neighborhood, wherever you are, speak up for them. Be their voice. Be the Jesus in their midst. Be the messenger of God unto them. Speak up for the oppressed. Number three. Be a voice for the abandoned. There are so many people that have been abandoned. Abandoned by their family, abandoned by their friends. They have nobody to go to. Be a voice for them. Number four, be a voice for the castaway. Oh, nobody wants to associate with them. Maybe they did something really bad. They committed a terrible sin. Maybe there is sickness in their life. Everybody has cast them away. Be a voice for such people. Be a voice for them. That is how the glory of God will come upon your life. When you undo the bodies of these categories of people, God will draw close to you. God will walk through you. Then God will take care of your own need. Be a voice for the castaway. Number five, be a voice for the lonely. Be a voice for the lonely. There are people living in the midst of thousands and yet they are lonely. But there is nobody they can really confide in. Even in your family, you find lonely people there. In the church, where there are so many people, you will find lonely people there. 
Because you are lonely, not because you are alone, but because you are by yourself, even in the midst of the crowd. Be a voice for such people. Look out for them. Encourage them. And as I always say, give them a hug. Be a voice for the lonely. Be a voice, number six. Be a voice for the depressed. Those that are in sorrow. Be a voice for them. Be a voice for them. Cheer them up. Let them know that tomorrow will be all right. Be a voice for the oppressed. Be a voice for them. As you do this, God himself will be a voice for you. As you help the oppressed, God will take away your own sorrow. And finally for today, be a voice for the voiceless. Be a voice for the voiceless. There are people whose voices are not regarded. Even when they speak, nobody cares. Nobody is listening. Maybe because they are poor or they are uneducated. But they speak and nobody is listening. Be a voice for them. Echo their words. Speak out for them. Please rise on your feet wherever you are. Begin to pray from the bottom of your heart. Say, Father, help me to speak up for the oppressed. Father, help me to be a voice for the abandoned. Those that the world has abandoned. Help me to be a voice for them. Help me to be a voice for the castaway. Those that the, the, the people in the world, their friends have abandoned them because they did something wrong or because they, can contrib- they don't have anything to contribute. Father, they cast away. Help me to be a voice for them. Father, help me, Lord, to be a voice for the lonely. Those that are lonely even in the midst of people. Lord, help me to be a voice for them. And as I speak up for them, Baba, raise up people for me. Raise up people for me in high places. People for me where it matters. That will speak up for me where my voice cannot be heard. Talk to God. What you sow, you will reap. As you speak up for others, God will raise up people in high places that will speak up for you. Say, Father, help me to take every advantage to speak up. For the voiceless. Help me to speak up for the lonely. Help me to speak up for the depressed. Help me to speak up, Father, for the castaway. And Lord, as I speak up for them, raise up people. Raise up people, Lord, that will speak up for me where it matters. People that will speak up where my voice cannot be heard. People that will speak up for me where I cannot be there. Lord, raise them up for me as I speak for others. In the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. We are prayed. Go ahead and begin to bring, bring your own prayer request unto God. What is that thing that you want God to do in your life? Just bring it one more time to God. Luke chapter 1 verse 37. For with God nothing shall be impossible. Whatever that situation may be this morning, my brother and my sister be encouraged. As we hold our hands together in the spirit realm, as we gather together unto God, say so where two or three are gathered together in his name, he's there in their midst. You will laugh last in the mighty name of Jesus. You will return to testify in the mighty name of Jesus. Bring that matter to your, to your creator. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Please lift up those hands unto God wherever you may be. Just lift up those hands in faith if you are not driving. My Father and my God, behold your sons, behold your daughters. I join my faith with theirs, O God. They have cried unto you this morning. They have lifted up their voice unto you. You are the God that answered prayers. Unto you shall all flesh come. Everything that they have asked for this evening, this morning, Father, please answer them speedily in the mighty name of Jesus. Meet every one of them at their points of need. Let them return, Father, to testify to your glory. As you go into this new day, may the Almighty go with you. May the grace of God be mighty upon your life. Where there seems to be no way, may God make a way for you. As many as want to stand in your way, may God himself remove them from your path in the mighty name of Jesus. As you speak up for the voiceless, as you speak up for the depressed, for the lonely, for the castaway, may God Almighty raise up people for you that will speak up where your voice cannot be heard, that will speak up for you where your own voice will not matter in the mighty name of Jesus. 
I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. I hide you in the rock of ages. You will not die suddenly. People will not visit your home to mourn with you. You will not end up in hospital. The number of your days you will fulfill in the mighty name of Jesus. May this day bring you his good in Jesus' name. It is well with you, well with your family, well with all that concerns you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let's close with that song one more time. Oh, be lifted above all the gods. We lay our crowns and worship you. Oh, glorious God, we praise your name. We lay our crowns and worship you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Have a great day.